Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. It is Mama friends, I'm going to be testing the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti in the top 5 most played games on Steam. Now the 1050 Ti over here is still the third most popular GPU on Steam at this moment and it's because of like 3 or 4 reasons. The 1050 Ti released back in 2016 for 139 US dollars, so it was a budget GPU and it could actually play a lot of games back then. Second, it came installed in a lot of games laptops, budget gaming laptops, which of course are what most people buy. Third reason is back in 2017 there was a mining craze. Yes, these things just come and go, you know. <laughs> yeah. And the 1050 Ti was basically the only graphics card that you could buy at the time for a reasonable price. So of course it sold a lot during that year. And then fourth place, well it's a 75 watt GPU so it actually fits a lot of office PCs and other gaming PCs that don't really have a very uh, good power supply. This one is the Asus Trix model of the card, it actually requires the 6-pin power connector right there, but there are a lot of models of the 1050 Ti that don't require it. With all of that said, let's install this in the system and see how it plays the top 5 most played games today on Steam, shall we? And it's desktop time, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti showing up there in MSI Afterburner along with the latest NVIDIA drivers 516.40 at the time of recording this video. I am not overclocking the card, you can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z. It's a 4 GB GDDR5 GPU released back in 2016, as I told you. 768 CUDA cores, and over on the left, we are pairing it with a Ryzen 9 her x and 32 GB of RAM to avoid CPU bottlenecks so we can see what the 1050 Ti is truly capable of. And the first place belongs to CSGO with 734,000 people playing it at the moment, and we're playing it at 1080p using the competitive settings that's low settings and high textures basically no no oh boy oh boy okay i'm playing a bit of a death match here today and then we're gonna play in casual mode to see some smoke effects and stuff because that's the most intensive thing that you can do um death matches always stutter it a little bit so the one percent blows are a bit weird right now but not a problem i think it will smooth out for sure oh come on i missed that oh damn it all right maybe i'm not gonna go with yop today all right, as you can see, this is pretty good. I would say it's a perfect experience for CSGO, really. GPU utilization is not fully maxed out, and that's exactly how you want it, with like 5% to 4% near 100% usage, because it actually reduces input lag. So um, I guess they actually optimized this game to run like this. What are you, what are you doing, Daniel? What the heck? <laughs> Daniel's going crazy here. I'm gonna go crazy with him. No, come on, buddy. We were friends. Ah, <sighs> oh man. Oh, whoa. What the heck? Come on. Okay. You know what? It might actually be the, the ping here today because I'm... No, it's not. Never mind. I'm just the noob. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay. Ah, the FK guy distracted me there. Always uh, got to blame other things, right? <laughs> That's how you play CSGO. You die, you blame the others. Why are there so many ragdolls here in this server? I don't understand. Damn it! I was seeing the ragdolls there. That's my excuse this time, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys, even though I am not putting on my best show today, this is super, super smooth. And you can play even with like a 240 hertz monitor if you want to, and a 1050 Ti, which is a bit crazy, you know, I would honestly upgrade the GPU and go for a 144 hertz instead. Um, but yeah, if you want that high, very high refresh rate experience, you can have it here uh, with the 1050 Ti. Most of you will have 144 hertz monitors, I think, and that's perfect here in CSGO for this card. I just don't know the recoil, dude. <laughs> just forget it. Okay, we're gonna go with the op again. It's better. Oh man, stop it! All right, yeah, AWP is better. I don't know the recoil on the M1, uh, M4, A4. Yes, not the one S. Okay, there we go. Should have gone with the op. Uh, okay, okay. Can we still win this though? I am not sure. Yeah, probably not. Where are the people at? Please. I need kills! See, I actually hit the shots, but I, I need to see them. What, what is that guy still doing there? It always confuses me a lot. Uh, Alright, we, we got an AFK guy there. That's great for our score. <laughs> you know, that, that's what's happening here. They're always killing AFK people. 
So that's why they're they're above me in the scoreboard. I don't do that. Because I don't see them very often. <laughs> uh, Alright, another one. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. What? What are you doing here? Alright, smoke test time. Let's throw it out. Let's count the FPS and let's stand here at the edge of the smoke. So it drops to the 130s and 120s at times. Yeah, there it is. It's not really that big of a deal. What if we um, zoom in into the smoke, actually? Yeah, it drops a little bit more and you can start to feel that difference uh, in smoothness. But overall, I think it is pretty good still. Next up is Dota 2 with 560,000 people at 1080p. Highest settings once again. Uh, actually, not the highest setting. The highest settings now. <laughs> Let's go. All right, it's actually really impressive for a 1050 Ti. I didn't expect it to get these high FPS because okay now it's dropping into the lower 100s but it's still super super nice and playable very smooth indeed i'm not playing it by the way i'm just watching um, a game a live game which is just as intensive as playing it of course oh another team fight over here can it drop from 100 fps though maybe it can yeah it's very close but not a problem i think this game is even playable with like 40 frames per second so uh, we're getting very good fps here the difference from this to a 1060 though is quite big actually but not to the point where i wouldn't play this game with a 1050 ti just fine right this is perfect oh boy tons of effects that's what i like to see here in dota 2 i really like the graphics of this game I know it's it's an old game at this point, like CSGO. CSGO is from 2012. Um, this game is from 2013. Both are free to play. Actually, every game in today's list, top five games on Steam most played, are free to play. And you know what? For CSGO and Dota 2, a 1050 Ti is actually more than you need, still. You know, some people like to crap on the 1050 Ti because it's not doing that well these days. It's dropping into the 80s, by the way. Um, especially in intensive titles, of course. But if you want to play the most popular games that most people are playing, it can play them very well, at least so far. Oh, there's more stuff happening here and I wasn't really seeing it. Okay, so even with a higher refresh rate monitor, the 1050Ti is still good in this game. You can drop the settings to achieve 144 plus all of the time. Um, and yeah, if you want to make it look pretty, I, I certainly do. Ultra settings is the way to go and it looks fantastic and it still plays buttery smooth basically. Really like this one. I, I was expecting it to be a little bit slower, actually. It's only like 100 FPS behind the 1060. <laughs> and next up is PUBG with 313,000 people at 1080p medium settings. And you can already tell the big difference in performance compared to the GTX 1060, if you've watched that a few days ago, of course. The 1060 on high settings was getting like 100 plus on average. This one on medium is getting 60 plus barely i was getting around like 70 to 80 fps in other maps this one in team De deathmatch is actually one of the most intensive ones i can't do anything guys in this game it's just so annoying it's so frustrating to play it <laughs> all right i'm gonna put on my try hard face now and play it properly okay if i can oh boy maybe this is oh, too big of a of a, a scope i think yeah, this one is better because it can go down to three times you know, I, I know my PUBG, you know. Jesus Christ! Ah, I just can't really play it. <laughs> Are they shooting at me? Oh my god, what the- they're all- they're all camping! Level 500 camping bastards, dude, I can't do anything! Oh my god, how do I switch weapons? Okay, there we go. I want to go with the sniper rifle next. Because, uh, well, they're all camping around, you know. Maybe we can hit those shots. Well, I was actually doing pretty well with the AWP in CSGO, after all. So, oh my god. Ah, it's so it's so great, this game. I love it. <laughs> come on. Come on. No. All right, it's not my kill. Didn't even hit the guy. Oh, I see one of them now. Look at them moving like this. No, no, no. He's going to kill me again. Is he not? Oh, no, there's one there. God damn it. Okay, wait. All right, guys, this is the first kill. No, no, he just stopped there. Who stops like that? Come on, don't you want to get killed by me? Please, experience dying for once. Jesus, people. 
No, 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 no. Wait. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got one. Oh, is that a grenade? No, it's just a bird. All right. All right. We're good now. Let's go. There is probably somebody around here, and it's a very bad idea for us to go there. And we hit the, the ground there, I think. Come on. Uh-oh. He, he went back. No. No, come on. Come on. No. No, there's another one. Of course there is. Once in a while, I actually thought that this game was gonna die because it was 30 euros. Uh, but then it went free to play and now it's on top five Steam most played games. And I don't really like it because now I gotta test it sometimes. I would really like to, to do something else other than dying here. Oh my, that was pretty quick. This guy killed him pretty quickly. Let's go. There's another one there. Okay. Okay, finally. Now we got Lost Ark with 200 and something thousand people playing it. 1080p, very high settings. Let's disable that motion blur, shall we? And, oh, what? Disabling motion blur requires a restart. Are you kidding me? This is not a very intensive area by any means, guys. I'm just here because there are some bushes and forests and uh, this is just a little bit intensive. Uh, this game stutters a little bit. We've seen that with the GTX 1060 as well. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, actually, if you don't unlock the FPS, this game is kept to 60 FPS um, by default, it should be pretty smooth. But if you unlock it, 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 it stutters a little bit. Okay, but hey, no problems here. 1050 Ti can definitely play this. So this area is actually bigger than I expected. And you know what else is bigger than what she expected? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's stop with that conversation, it's stupid. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Thank you for the help again. How do I use my healing potion? Now the thing about Lost Ark is there are dungeons that are super intensive with monsters with a ton of people playing it and the killing the monsters and stuff and the FPS will definitely drop in those scenarios so keep that in mind uh, getting 70s around here uh, this is just a very simple test here at the beginning of the game but you can play the game absolutely fine it's on very high settings after all which is maxed Those out uh, for this wrong. game we are getting more fps in the big city here the starting city at least with tons of stuttering because it's probably loading a few things around here um or the the characters actually because there are a lot of people walking around and stuff so it tends to stutter just slightly more but still it's pretty good it's not really game breaking the stuttering issues because of the nature of it the game play type you know let's see if there's a useful tool there is a very useful tool in my pen crisp you gotta stop with those jokes you told them you were gonna stop so please don't do that okay sorry guys i'm sorry again and finally with 263,000 people playing it we got apex legends and we're playing at 1080p using the low settings with medium textures and nvidia reflex is actually enabled because it helps with input lag okay this is where the 1050 ti starts struggling a bit you're seeing 50s and 40s looking at the entire map so if you want 60 plus you will probably need to drop the resolution in this one, unfortunately, guys. But it should still be pretty playable down there. And for a casual experience or a casual player, you can still play the game like this, even at 1080p for sure. But Apex Legends probably has more people playing it than the likes of PUBG, Lost Ark, even Dota 2 maybe, because it's on consoles. If you count the consoles as well in the Origin platform, it has a ton of people playing it. Oh, I desperately need an extended mag for this gun, guys. I really like it, but 16 bullets is probably not enough. Oh boy, now they know that we're here. Come on, all right, we still got that one. And an Evo shield upgrade, that's nice. Okay. Come on, oh, oh no, 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 the bullets, the bullets aren't enough. We gotta go, we definitely gotta go. Moving out of here now. Oh, I can hear their steps, guys. I'm just gonna go upwards and uh, get the heck out of here. Come on. Oh, there's another one there. I'm just gonna throw a few smokes now. Oh my god, I'm 1 HP. I am 1 HP. Damn it. But you know what, guys? Even though the FPS dropped from 60 at times, it's not really that bad. It still feels pretty smooth and um, consistent because of nvidia reflex finally we got an extended mag for this so i think you can still play this game competitively a bit if you really want to even with the 1050 ti almost got all of the shields of that guy oh we need 
need to kill one of these guys, otherwise we're gonna die. And not see the ultimate again! Come on, I need to see my ultimate. All right, well, yes, it drops into the lower 50s. That was really messy there. So it's conclusion time and the 1050 Ti is definitely starting to show its age, even in the popular games on Steam, which aren't really that intensive, like Apex Legends, it still provided a good experience, but not really a very competitive one for sure. And like in PUBG, I was also expecting it to do a little bit better, although it was still good for the game that it is. The 1060 did so much better, like it's insane. No wonder the 1060 is the top one GPU on Steam, right? Um, this one, however, is still going up in popularity, even all of these years later. Six years later, yes, I, I know math sometimes. <laughs> but with all of that said, I still had fun with a little 1050 Ti here. It's not a dead GPU by any means. And uh, well, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Again, so sorry, this is not a proper Sunday video, but that will come in the next few days. Love you all. Bye-bye.